What job allows no f ups? When I visited Johnson Space Center, we got to watch the mission control people. Guy explicitly said that job requires you to make exactly zero mistakes. Edit, it may not matter, but in my comment I was referring more specifically to the people watching over ISS. The clinical technicians who prepare cellular material for bone marrow transplants. I worked at a major cancer treatment center across the hall from the lab that did this. They slipped up once and gave the cells for one patient to a different patient. Both patients died, one from being given incompatible cells, the other from not receiving their transplant in time after their radiation treatment. Lots of pain for everyone that day. Imagine losing your job because you killed two people. I learn by trial and error. The worst parachute rigger, ever. The person who checks the safety harness on a bungee jump. There's one instance that a dude said, no jump, and the girl thought he said, now jump, so she jumped to her death. Anything involving space travel or being aboard an active duty submarine. In the early days of submarines you could destroy the whole boat by flushing the toilet wrong. Link. Bomb squad expert. Best thing I've heard to explain bomb experts are. Either you get it right or suddenly it's not your problem anymore. Pediatric pharmacy. The only error my husband made in something like 10,000 scripts was nutrition. Never a medication error. He'd remember the kids by name and would question changes, typos on the doctor's parts, because he knew the kid hadn't gained, lost that much weight that asterisk fast. Their dosages are by weight, not age. Astronaut. If you mess up in space it's usually bad. Oh lord, imagine drifting away from Earth like there is no return, scary stuff. My ex made a small miscalculation on an industrial part he was engineering for like a big crane and cost his company hundreds of thousands of dollars and they had to shut down. The part was for a high precision valve where even a fraction of a millimeter is the difference between something being perfect and absolutely useless. As a web developer if that were the case in my industry I would be out of a job today. Smart companies put multiple checks by different people along the line if something is that critical. Air traffic control. At one point, IIRC, it was ranked the most stressful job in the world based on number of decisions per minute. You're responsible for a lot of lives. We do have a lot of lives in our hands but we do mess up occasionally, we are human after all. We fix it and move on. There are a lot of backup systems in place to make sure everyone is safe. The people who climb and repair those radio towers. My brother fell off one of the towers while working on it, his harness luckily caught him and they got him down and he was immediately fired. What did he do wrong? Lost his grip and fell, if he didn't have his safety harness on he would have died, and that's a huge liability most employers are not willing to deal with, so yeah if you fall once it's a done deal. Air traffic controller. I learned the ATCs at a nearby military base only do 4 hour days because they can't allow any dips in performance. Makes the job sound super stressful. Electrician here. Last year I had a major electrical accident and if I weren't in my full PPE I could have been severely injured or killed. I walked away with no injuries. Lineman. 1F, up and you are dead. 2F, ups and there won't even be enough of you left to bury. I'd guess brain surgeon but I'm not 100% sure and an anesthesiologist would be bad if it got past you and put into the patient. Brain surgeon here. Errors are made with relative frequency, but knowing how to properly address them is very important and can be the difference between a good and poor outcome. Anesthesiologist. My cousin is an anesthesiologist at a teaching hospital. He has some stories, people with multiple pre-existing conditions, the complex cocktails of meds and monitoring needed. Dang. Not a profession that tolerates mistakes. So I do metal roofs. When doing the cap there is no place to fasten for a harness. Do not make a mistake with your footing. Working in the blood bank. Asterisk any asterisk f up, even the tiniest asterisk clerical error, can cause someone to die a asterisk horrible asterisk death. There seems to be plenty of error checking in place to catch f ups, though, both checking to make sure that the blood is labeled correctly and that it is safe to use. Any of the jobs on the deck of an aircraft carrier. Airplane mechanics. As somebody who has this exact job, it depends on the F up and how quickly it's noticed. I was a software dev for trading tools that were used on the stock market. You're literally writing the code that executed millions of dollars of transactions. 
I'll never do it again. Underwater welder, and they have the fatality rate statistics to prove it. Edit. Holy crap, I did not expect this to blow up like it did. This has been very educational, I actually didn't know much about the field, just knew it had the highest fatality rate among all jobs in the US. I will be turning off notifications on this. I cannot possibly answer everyone, but thank for replying, all. You're not kidding. I have a bud who did this job, and he very nearly lost his life. I'm not 100% on the details, but from what I remember there was an issue with the oxygen supply, his partner, they dive in teams, panicked and made them surface too quickly. They both got the bends. The partner died, my bud almost did and was in hospital for months. He didn't return to the role, much to the relief of his family. And me. Cops and politicians have left the chat. In Japan, heart surgeon. Number one, steady hand. One day, Yakuza boss need new heart. I do operation. But, mistake. Yakuza boss die. Yakuza very mad. I hide in fishing boat, come to America. No English, no food, no money. Daryl give me job. Now I have house, American car, and new woman. Daryl save life. My big secret, I kill Yakuza boss on purpose. I good surgeon. The best. Thank you for watching. We upload new videos every day. So be sure to come back for more fun. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video.